Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do one of the Azure Data Factory project. So we have one of the requirements, so we will understand the requirement and then finally we will do a practical. So the requirement is like, we have to validate the schema structure of the file before processing. For taking example, suppose we have one of the storage account. This is a storage account. In this storage account, we are getting a file on a daily basis from external resources. So this is the external resources. From here we are getting a file. Now what we have to make sure whenever you are processing this file, what you have to make sure you should check whether this file contain the proper structure and the schema or not. So we have to check whether this file is having proper schema and the structure or not. So what we have done, we have already defined one schema for this. We have already one defined one schema for this like ID, name, these are the column, it should contain the file, department. These are the structure we have already defined in, in a new file. Now what we have to make sure whenever any file is coming into this folder, whenever you are processing this particular file, you have to make sure this file should contain this all the structure means it should contain the proper structure ID, name, department and salary. For taking example, suppose I have one of the file ID, name, department and salary. This structure and these structures are same whatever we had defined, right? So in this case, we should process this file. Now in the file too, you can see we have ID name and the department and the salary. In this case, you can see it is coming as a department, but we want the column should come as a department. So in this case, it should skip. So that is the requirement we have. Now let's see how actually we can solve that. So what I have done, I have created one storage account. In this storage account, I have a one file employee file if I show you in this employee file we have a employee ID name salary and the location like this the file is coming I also have a one of the container where I have defined my schema right the schema should be like this so this is the employee schema dot CSV so here only the schema I have defined like it should be employee ID name salary and the location so what I have to check Whenever any file is coming into the input container, that file should contain whatever the schema we have defined here. So that is the requirement. And if it is satisfying, then only we should do a processing. So I will open my data factory. I will create a new data pipeline. What we have to do? First, we have to get metadata. We are going to use a get metadata activity. So I'll just drag it. In this get metadata activity, I'll go to the setting, I'll create a data set. So our file is available in a blob storage, so I'll select that blob storage account. Click on the continue. My file is CSV, so I'll select that. I'll create a link service. I'll select my subscription, I'll select my storage account. And after that, I'll click on the create. I'll select my file path. So I will directly select the file. I'm directly selecting the file. If you have a multiple file, then what actually we can do? We can use a for loop and we can process that file one by one. So as of now, I'm directly I'm selecting that file. I'll click on the OK. Now you can see we have a field list. In this field list, what we have to select? You can see we have a different option, right? We have one of the option as a structure. So I'll select that. Now let me try to debug. Now let's see when I'm selecting a structure, what kind of the output we are getting, whether we are able to read that particular file or not. So you can see we are able to read that file and we are getting a structure of the file like a name should be employee ID, it should be string, uh, this all the information we are getting. Now what I will do, I'll use one more get metadata activity. This get metadata activity will represent the schema which I already defined. The first one is, so the first get metadata, which is a reading a file from this input container. Whenever new file is coming, so it is reading from this input container. Schema, uh, this is the schema which I already defined. So that also I want to read. So for that, what I will use? Azure blob storage. My file is CSV. I select the same link service and I'll point out to the schema file, this file. Click on the OK. 
now what i will do so this two are coming right so in this get meter two what we have to do we have to select the structure we have to select the structure now what we will do we'll use a if condition activity if condition activity we'll try to connect both the get meter data now click on the if condition in this if condition we have to pass the expression so what actually we will do we will try to check whether this get meter data one whatever the structure we are getting it should be same get meter data two where whatever the schema we have defined that both should be same if the both should be same then only true will happen otherwise false will happen so how actually you can uh, check like whether both the structure is same or not so we'll use add dynamic content here we have one of the expression equals so we'll select that now what we will do whatever the output we are getting from the get meter data one so you can see get meter data one dot structure so this particular thing we will use so get meter one dot output dot structure comma get meter data two output dot structure we have to this one so what actually i am doing i am using a equal command equal function we have and i am checking whether this get meter data one is equal to the get meter data two or not if it is a equal then it will go into the true otherwise it will go into the false now as of now so you if it is a true then you can perform any kind of the activity means you can process that file like if you want to copy somewhere then you can process that so as of now what actually i am using i am using just a wait activity just to do that as of now i am not uh, doing any copy activity or any processing just like whether our pipeline is working or not so in that purpose i am using a wait activity so in this wait activity uh, we do not have to do anything so what actually happening as of now in this case if you can see if it is a true so we have defined one get metadata one we are trying to find out the structure of the file we are trying to compare with the whatever the schema file we have defined whether both are equal or not with the help of the if condition activity if it is a equal then it is going into the true otherwise it will go into the false and it will skip that file so that is the pipeline we have built so let's see whether it's working or not so i'll click on the debug so first it should read the get metadata one and get metadata two as of now both the schema is same for the both the file if i show you get metadata one this is the schema uh, we have and if you will see this get metadata two both the schema is same means both the file is coming properly in this case what it should happen it should go into the true category and uh, wait activity should happen so you can see wait activity happen wait activity happen means it is satisfying the condition now what i will do i'll go to the storage account input container i'll try to change the schema suppose i am making this uh, loc as a location suppose our file is coming as a location click on the save now i'll click on the uh, debug now in this case you can see because both the structures are not same you can see uh, the schema we have defined where it should come as a loc but it is coming as a location means both the schema is not same in this case it is not going into the true category uh, and it is going into the false category and it is skipping that file right no wait activity executed means our pipeline is working fine so like that actually we can validate so we can validate the schema of the file and uh, after that only we can do a uh, some kind of the activity for the processing like if you have to copy that data into some location or in some table if it is a proper value then only we have to do that so that kind of the check actually we can do here so yeah i hope you got the idea that's it thanks